What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do Fix Friday every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast, and I stream on Twitch as often as I can if you are interested in getting better. At the Game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me for today's episode. I will be playing... Uh, this is the next game of the Rank Up series. I think we're at game 48, where we will be taking my girl Chiquita Grinface all the way up from Novice to Grandmaster, currently ranked as a Master 5,190. We're at 2.5 million skill points. We are about to cross 100k gap to get to Grandmaster. Grandmaster is pegged at 2.6 million skill points, so I'm about two games away, assuming I win, of course. Uh, record for this account, we've gone 36 and 11. And settings for this game are going to be on Britannia Advanced, one of my favorite free-for-all progressive maps. Auto setup, 60 second turn, expert AI, we don't have any yet. Progressive cards, balance blitz dice, no filtering of players, alliances are now on. And fog and blizzards are off, I'm in the second position, and boy howdy, does purple like to attack. So we have a hyper-aggressive opponent in the first position general, the first one, one seven zero zero from India, playing as purple. I am in position two, and I love this start. Would you look at that? I'm everywhere I want to be. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm in my favorite place up in the north of Scotland put a single troop here because I'm going to attack through Yorkshire. So I will actually... I stand to reasonably be, reasonably be in four places, which is way better than my usual two, and two is good enough. Um, what I like to do on Britannia Advance, I like to hang out in the top in the Orkneys, in a position in southern England. This five is good enough. Anything below the middle, right? These two territories. You don't want to be in Wales, because Wales is worth a plus six, and that's the only territory that people tend to go for. So, uh, Britannia Advance has jackpot. And because of that, and I just had this nice concentration of two, three, so I didn't want to be in the large central choke. I wanted to move up through it. So I'm going to have a northern position, a southern position, and an Ireland position. And I, I will try to gravitate that four stack into the Isle of Man. And that's how the positioning works. In the third seat, we have Pakeson Mater flying the flag of Columbia playing as red. In position four, we have Manning Cone flying the flag of Mongolia playing as green. We do have a bot. The white player is an expert AI. And in the final position, we have General Sharoma. One, three, four, five, six. I missed the flag. What is that? Jordan? It's a Middle Eastern country of some kind playing as blue. Okay. Let's see how we do. We got some folks live on Twitch as well. How's everyone doing today? Storm fell and hello. What's up, dude? Not the usual time of peace streams. No, I'm uh what's why do I like the Orkneys? Um so <laughs> a couple of reasons. One reason is this. You see that? You see how it's completely cut off from the map and you don't even see? So if I had twenty troops up there and someone tries to kill me and knocks me out of the rest of the map, well, oh look, there's fucking twenty troops up there. Um but also I like, so the England map is kind of a, rather the, the, Brit, the Britain map is a um, dipolar. So you, ha you have something at one end, you have something at the other end, and it chokes out in the middle. So you want to be on either side of the middle so you can kill players. And that's, that's basically uh, the rationale, right? You want to be um, able to kill. This is similar with, with uh, Free For All Progressive. You want to be able to make your kills, and you want to make yourself harder to kill. Those are the basic reasons. I love how you say Southern, yeah. I just woke up. So did I. Hey, Buck's here. What's happening, dude? How are you, Buck? Yeah, so we're going to play this and probably one more game, and then my uh, 1v1 tournament is in an hour, 50 minutes now. I'm not expecting uh, any big things from my 1v1 season, but I'll play the fun little risk puzzles. Okay, so yeah, this would be a cautionary tale for Purple. Purple strikes me as a very new player already. 
um, because all they did on their first turn was attack, 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 kind of randomly, and now they're dead. They have 18 troops. They're going to lose their central position. I think now, yeah, now what we see is they, they go gung-ho for Ireland, and they're going to have to fight blue for that. Buck says, I finally got five minutes to scratch my ass. Want to sniff my fingers? No thanks, Buck. Who am I playing against? I am playing against De Skella in the 1v1 tournament. Casual Asians. Yo, what's up, dude? Is it casual or causal? Casual. I can't read. It's too early. All right. Turn two. Very simple turn two for me. Oh, my goodness. Is that Reginald? Hi, buddy. Do you want to come help me win on Britannia? I like how Reg is making some key appearances on the show these days. Hi, Schmokus, man. Oh, all right. Will you explain to the people what you like about the Orkneys? So they got lots of cat food up there, apparently, is, is the, the situation. Hey, Green got the best position? I don't know, man. I wouldn't like his position if I was splitting it into three stacks. Hey. Oh, yes. Who likes the tummy smacks? Do you like the tummy smacks? You, you don't? Okay, I'll let you go then. What's up, everybody? Digitalic. How you doing? Right, maybe. Okay, well, if Green's getting gung-ho for Scotland, I can leave the Orkneys. The other way to think about it in the north is if anyone is capturing the north, you don't actually need to be in the true northern corner. You just need to be next to that person so you can move up and you're still... Technically in the corner with one person behind. Yeah, so that five is going to roll my five, right? That five is like, fuck you. So what I do in this situation is I add all my my troops here and I attack one down and I slowly escape and hopefully that buys me enough time to do it. Looks like the bot is going to take whales. So we don't see any of our players taking it. I also wouldn't be shocked if one or two of these guys bought it out based on the way they play. Nobody's jumping out as super scary or super strong. My start was really good, right? I have four positions. I wasn't expecting that. Too bad I'm going to have to overinvest in the north. <laughs> I guess I have three positions. <laughs> Blue, it's a force pack. There we are. There we are. <laughs> was he punished? Not really, right? 7v4. Lost three. Yeah. It is what it is, guys. You know, I've only played two Global 1v1 games since update. Really? Is that a good thing or a bad thing, Buck? Oh, you've just been too busy with work, sure. So yeah, so Purple's really gung-ho on Ireland. Yes, yeah, so I'm trying to make a deal with Green. What I'm trying to do is I'm I'm signaling, if, if Green accepts my alliance, I'm signaling that I'm trying to leave. But he didn't accept. Okay. So that's three moves now. I'm going to be in two positions, and my northern position is going to be in the south of Scotland. My southern position is going to be in southern England, we hope. I also have great kill lines on green. Look at that. I'm right next to their positions. Buck says, I don't know if it's good or bad. They took my tick, excommunicated me from the community the best they can. They took your tick, eh? That sucks. But, like, you're top 100, so don't, don't you qualify as a verified player just because of that? I 
Like you're verified. I know who you are. <laughs> yeah, good. This is what I wanted to happen. So, so green is going for the slow claim. Let's ally up with everybody now. Green is going, green is going for the slow claim to Scotland. So I'm going to run. Basically, SMG outcast me because I stood up to one of the community staff. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I think you might actually be reading into it too much. I don't think SMG gives a shit. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, Whitebot takes over Wales. And Whitebot is into positions at 15 troops. These players are all going to be easy fish. This map is very interesting. Overall, it is the perfect strategy for progressive. It could be a great training map for new players. I think the perfect map um, would be uh, Pangea. Pangea is slightly better than this because this has one jackpot. Pangea has two smaller ones. So the players get to fight each other and focus all their attention there while you hang out around the outside and kill them. But... Uh, Tell me how, why they took my tick. Then I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, obviously, somebody cares. <laughs> I assume somebody cares. It's shitty. Oh, purple sets in early. Look at this. They say, I'm going to take... They won't even hold the bonus. Also, guys, pay attention. If you are trying to go gung-ho for Ireland, you need this territory in Scotland um, called Dalriata to finish the bonus. So they just fucked over blue. Blue is looking real fishy. Um, how do I kill blue? I'm actually reasonably lined up to do that. Hope you have cards, blue. <laughs> or you're fucked. <laughs> and we'll just do a little bit of this. Yep. All right, so I'm expecting Purple to take out this position. As soon as they do, I can go pop, pop, and remove blue from the rest of the board. Green's going to expand out of here and be in two positions that I have access to. Same with red, looking super weak. This is just... This this game is going to be a fucking sweep. Um, Mr. Timmy, 87. I suck at risk, but I love your videos. Well, thank you, Mr. Timmy. I never get tired of hearing it, and it is a privilege. Buck says, I'm always proud of all the risk takers getting better at the game. It's nice. You know, it's nice to be a part of helping people improve. Green sets in with the six. I'm going to lose this six, aren't I? Fuck. Let's see if he plays cautious or not. That's why I didn't add any more troops up there. Where's his troop? Where okay. So we're seeing a lot of early sets. Sets are now at eight. And I don't have one. Um, I'm fully expecting... Oh, green splitting some of his troops in the south. Green's playing well. Reasonably well, other than setting in early, which you don't do. Um, okay, that 8v4 hits. I'll just run. I have one... Yeah, I have to connect in, and then I'm out. Then I'm out of the north. Green can have it. Right? I don't think he rolls 6v6. He does roll 6v1, though. Message received. Leave Scotland. I gotcha. I gotcha, bud. This is great. I'm fine with this. Okay. Um, white player down to nine troops. Um, in two positions. White sets and gets the eight. Oh, don't hit my six. That's a low likelihood, but possible. And he's going to put blue. Don't hit my six. Good. Goes the other way. Blue's in two places. White bot takes whales. No set on four is bad. I have to make this blue kill now. Let's see if blue sets. All right. Blue does not set. Purple says attack white. Sure. You got it, buddy. Anything you say, just for you. Just for my loyal ally. He's going to hit those two blue positions because he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Then I'm going to kill... Then I'm going to kill blue and I'm going to get uh, four cards. 
<laughs> Ooh, keep attacking! <laughs> yes, give me lines from that position as well. I love it. I love it. You're fucking dead. All right. The risk community is awesome. Yep, as expected. As expected. Purple feeds me the blue kill. Can I chain this now? Do we go nuclear? Almost. Let's see. Let's start with make let's make sure we get this blue kill. I'm going a little bit slower than I normally would. So I don't want to scare everybody yet. And blue dies. Now I get two sets. Do I kill red? I don't see any reason why not to. And then I can kill white. Yeah, I can just go, I think. I think I just win. <laughs> Nuke says, did he just say hey, we go nuclear? <laughs> How you doing, Nuke? <laughs> I sure did, buddy. All right, so I will kill the bot. Neither of these guys can set. This game's over. is telling me to attack green? Sure. He went nuclear in his fans. <laughs> Pete, how does Major Major have a ton of wins and only 12 losses? Sure, I can tell you. Um, so Major Major used to have a top 10 account uh, called OG Osarian, and it is currently at 7 million skill points. So if he plays a single game on that account, he'll have 7 million skill points. Uh, Major Major has 7.8, 7.82, something like that, at the top of the leaderboard. Um, the way you get those wins is by playing only noobs and never losing. But since we are now blind to stats in lobby, we can't know that we're playing only noobs. So the situation going forward is going to be very different than the situation as it was. Buck's going back to work. Thank you for stomping in, Buck. We will revisit this conversation anytime you'd like. Yeah, so it's called noob grinding, right? Noob grinding finally is over, and it's something that I've been a strong advocate for getting rid of, right? The exact same reason I'm at the top of the leaderboard where I shouldn't be. I would like there very much to be a meaningful ranking system. Yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna play nice with uh, with purple just because they fed me that kill and green pushed me out of Scotland, so. Give purple second. So technically, Major has two top 10 accounts. Um, yes. At, at least, yeah. Yeah, he's a very good player. I don't know if he is number one. I don't know. This is the problem with the ranking system, right? It doesn't actually measure what you need it to measure. <laughs> now SMG is saying they're going to change the ranking system, and I can't wait for that to be true. Purple tries to hit me in a futile attempt to not lose the game. Yeah. 
And we go just on the cusp of finishing the series. Earning 650 battle points. Defeating one novice, three beginners. You get some free shit? Who doesn't like free shit? Equip now. No, I'm good. Um, currently ranked as a master 4,735. We've gone 37 and 11. That's one novice, three beginners, uh, one bot. And we are 37 and 11. Let's see if I got a skill point change as well. So I must be like two games away now. Yeah, 2,000 or 2,570,237. 2, yeah, I'm like one game. All right, folks, if I win one more of these bastards, I will finish the series and be a Grandmaster. What's today? The 14th? Yeah. Okay, and that was Britannia. And current rank is 4,000. 735. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. If you are interested in getting better at the Game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on YouTube. I do Fixed Friday every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast, and I stream on Twitch as often as I can. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, I would be most grateful. Until next time, for all of you on the path, to world domination, good games, and good luck.